Hey guys, uh, so this is a quick review of the experiment on projectile motion that we have in Physics 191 at Qatar University. So uh, this is the setup. So we have a launcher over here that launches the ball. Uh, <coughs> and the ball lands on this table and leaves a mark on the paper. And we measure the range um, uh, of for the ball, which is the distance from the tip of this launcher to the point at which it hits the uh, table, okay? So you can launch the ball like this. So we keep it in the first position only. There are three positions for the launcher. We keep it in the first position. You can launch the ball like this, there it goes and leaves a mark. So we uh, measure this at different angles. We take readings at different angles. So you can change the angle. So each of these uh, divisions like this is 10 degrees, 20, 30, so we start with 35, then 40, 45, and then we go up to 60. And then we, when we have the values, we, uh, you know, uh, make a table. So theta, 35 degrees, 40, 45, and so on, right? <coughs> and then we take three values of the range, the three readings for the range, and then an average value of the range. So once we have the data, we have an average value, we make a plot of R average versus sine two theta. Okay. And then we get, um, and we, we know that the, av the range of a projectile is um, um, related to the angle and the velocity, initial velocity by this equation. If you know how to, if you wanna know how to derive this equation, go to um, uh, my videos on projectile motion. So, so we get like a line if, uh, you know, we can, we can do a linear fit to the data in this case because the uh, equation predicts a linear relationship. And, and then like Excel will give you an equation like this. So what you do is if you plot R versus sine two theta, the slope is going to be this thing, right? So you will set the slope uh, equal to V naught squared over G and then calculate V naught. So, so V naught is going to be square root of slope multiplied by G. So that's going to be your, your, the value V naught which you have to calculate in this experiment. So this was just a quick review of the experiment on projectile motion. I'll see if I can get sample data and then we can uh, you know, go through the analysis on Excel as well. So I hope you liked the video and please subscribe. Thank you, bye.